Hello everyone and welcome back to DBX Labs. Today's video is a collaboration with the YouTube channel known as Carbon Coil. And in the second part of the collaboration, I will be showing you guys how you can make your own electrical matches. Now I highly recommend that you guys check out Carbon Coil's channel after watching this video all the way to the end. He makes some great videos and his channel is definitely on the rise. About a month ago, I reached out to Carbon Coil and requested that he build me a radio-operated electrical ignition system. He was happy to oblige, so I sent him one of my old drones, and he was able to turn it into a system which operated off of the drone remote control, and the receiver of the drone powered a relay which would surge power to a nichrome wire heating element. If you would like to see how this was made, his video details the steps he took to build this ignition apparatus. Before we get started, big thanks to my $10 plus supporters on Patreon. Now where Carbon Coil's video leaves off, he leaves me with the whole assembly which was created out of a drone receiver and transmitter. The only thing he did not send me was nichrome wire which will serve to be our heating element to ignite the end of each electrical match. This nichrome does need a good amount of current to flow through it before it gets red hot, so my 18 volt drill battery will do the job quite well. This setup, however, has its setbacks as a hot wire is only useful if it's not making contact with itself and shorting out. The way I went about preventing the wire from overlapping and shorting with itself is by taking the wire strippings of some just regular wire and uh, threading the nichrome through the wire stripping and then wrapping it around the exterior of the wire stripping. If done correctly, you can wrap a good deal of wire around this wire stripping and it makes a pretty significant heating element which can set fire to most things put in contact with it. With this base igniter made, we can move on to the next step which is producing a variety of igniter coatings. In my opinion, the simplest pyrotechnic mixture that you can coat an electric match head with is a nitrocellulose lacquer. This lacquer will harden and serve to provide the match head with highly combustible fuel to burn. Multiple coats of this lacquer provide more fuel, but the downside is it doesn't really have anything to oxidize the nitrocellulose. This simply means that in an anaerobic environment, the match head will simply smolder and the nitrocellulose won't fully combust. It'll just kind of decompose into flammable gases. For this reason, I'd say that this composition should only be used on matches that are known to be on exposure to open air. Since this can be quite limiting, a way to provide an oxidizer for the nitrocellulose fuel is to implement an oxidizer inside the lacquer. My oxidizer of choice is potassium perchlorate, however, if this is not available to you, other oxidizers like potassium nitrate, potassium chlorate, even potassium permanganate would likely work. This mixture of fuel and oxidizer produces a lacquer that, when solidified, hardens as a rapid burning electrical match head. Where I'd be confident using one of these match heads to ignite most pyrotechnic mixes, there are a few things such as thermite that this won't ignite. To take the mix one step further, we add some aluminum powder to the mixture of our oxidizer and nitrocellulose. Additionally, magnesium powder could be used. Doing this creates a sort of flash powder incendiary mixture on the tip of the match that can ignite most anything. Unlike regular flash powder, the mix burns a little bit slower, but the oxidation of the aluminum powder provides the heat necessary to ignite most thermites. We make some electrical match heads out of the current mixture and then as a final test match I add some secret ingredient to the mixture and it rapidly dissolves in the acetone. I'm not going to say what this ingredient is but I will give some hints. For one it's an energetic compound that I have used in previous videos granted without name. It is an organic compound with several nitrate esters and this might be the biggest hint. It is not a nitrotetrazole salt. Leave in the comments what you think it might be. This secret ingredient adds to the burn rate of the lacquer and from my experience I feel that it produces more effective electrical matches suitable for any use including igniting thermite. When putting the igniters to the test in model rocketry or pyrotechnics my preferred variant of the four electrical matches is consistently the fourth one that I made containing the secret ingredient nitrocellulose, aluminum powder, and potassium perchlorate. This is the design that I have chosen to produce in mass, and all of my igniters are composed of this. 
However, if you have not deduced what the secret ingredient is or do not have access to it, it is perfectly fine to go without it. It works relatively the same and you'll still be able to ignite most things and thermite. In the past month, I've been testing with various sugar rocket nozzles and mixes. So here are some of my tests using the electrical igniters to set off some of these. Thank you guys for watching. Check out Carbon Coil and I'll catch you guys in the next video.